Happy April. This month's vocal blog is on donating your voice. On April the 16th is considered World Voice Day. I've included a link in this month's blog about how you can find out what's going on in your community related to World Voice Day. There's everything from free concerts to sometimes people are offering free vocal fold screenings. So check out the website and see if you can find something in your community. And if not, for next year, think about doing something for World Voice Day. The other thing I really want you to consider for this month is donating your voice. We live in a technology-based world and there are so many people, about one in eight Americans, who do not have a voice or the ability to speak. And as singers and singing teachers, we can only imagine what that life would be like without the ability to use our voices. So there's been a brilliant young woman named Dr. Patel who has been able to develop a voice algorithm so that you can donate your voice and it interfaces with some of the sounds that that patient or client may be able to make. So instead of the robotic sound you often get off of the alternative augmentative communication devices, you get a real human voice. So on World Voice Day, considering being a donated, consider being someone who donates their voice to someone who does not have one. I've included a TED Talk on how this all came about on this month's voice blog, as well as information on how you can donate your voice. So I hope you will consider it. Happy April, and next month will be Allergy Month because of course, April showers bring May flowers. So we wanna talk about allergies and how to keep your voice healthy through sinus and allergy season. Have a great day.